Hey everyone, this is Saul from Three Kingdoms Games, coming to you today with a sneak peek of a game that's not out till the end of January. It's a Cool Mini or Not game by Eric Lang, and it's called Victorian Masterminds. In Victorian Masterminds, you and your fellow players are taking on the role of steampunky villains trying to build your doomsday machines. You do this by sending your minions all over the world to gain your equipment, to gain your resources, to s build your doomsday machine. If you can do this before the Secret Service come in and capture you, you win. If not, well, better luck next time. I'm going to get this on the table and show you how it plays. So, for Victorian Masterminds, as you can see, I've just set up the board. Board setup is actually very simple. You lay this out in the middle. You find the places that match each building. Place them in their given locations. There are five cities that this is played across across the world. You have the Secret Service track up here, which is you get a fire power counter on. You get five gears that match your colors. These are your henchmen, your minions, your guys who will go do your bidding. You place one of the starting quests in each location. So these are achievements that you can unlock. Now these have a different back than the regular ones as you can see here. You get a player board. Now your player board will show you your contraption that you're building, your doomsday machine. Each player will also get eight pieces of their machine, which will match color on the back to the color on the board. You also will get one scientist to put in your laboratory. You will unlock more laboratory slots as you go. As you can see here, when you build this piece, it gives you a laboratory uh, worker or laboratory spot available. They also give you mayhem. Now, if something here gives you mayhem, it's not that you take those tokens, it's that they're worth that at the end. You have spots for your Da Vinci Codex pieces, which will give you victory points at the end. Or if you complete this section, when you get them, instead of being worth one, they're worth two. Also, all pieces of your ship have components you need in order to complete them. These components are double-sided tokens that you can get. So you have your copper panels, or on the flip side, you have your bolts. Also, each supervillain has their own unique ability that one of their henchmen will have. And I will show you that one when it comes up. As well as you can unlock further abilities, which you will gain every time you place that henchman. So start of the game, you get your board. You get one science work, it goes down, and you have your five henchmen. Shuffle these up, and you take the top one and get to look at it. Now, henchmen have different abilities. So this one will take two resource of whatever location you go to. This one will uh, potentially capture you a building. This one will uh, attempt to complete the quest card. This one is that special henchman I was talking about just a second ago. That one will do whatever your special ability is. And this will nullify whatever is below him in this stack order, uh, which will make sense in a second. So on your turn, you look at your piece. Now you can look at it at any time and choose where you want to place it. So let's say I want to get a copper panel. I place it there. Now you don't collect it right away. As soon as there are three on a location, whoever placed the third one takes the monocle. It's just to help keep track of whose turn it is because this is where it will get confusing otherwise. Flips it over and you resolve down the stack in order. So you have the three tokens. So the gunner will try to capture a building. Now, my failure power is at zero currently. As you can see on this track, there's the value that it's at. 
and this will be the Secret Service track. If your firepower is greater or equal to the Secret Service's number, you can capture a building. When you capture a building, so Gunner, you just choose which building you want and you can take it. There's also an associated, uh, there's an associated resource with each one which you'll get to claim as well. Now you can't claim this until it's the last building standing. That's why there's only one of a unique type of building at each location. So you resolve the gunner first, you can take the resource for that area. So I would take a panel and I would assign it to a spot. I'll show you a second how that works. I then take another panel and then this would nullify what was that other was underneath it. So in this case, they couldn't attempt to capture the quest or whatever. They still would get the resource for the location. They just don't get whatever the ability is on the worker. So back to capturing. Like I was talking about, you take one of these buildings and take whatever it says that you get. So that's how that would work. Now, when you get resources like the panels, you have to assign them immediately. So let's say I assigned it here. I now have this complete. I immediately will get this spot. So I would trade it back in. I'd get this and it goes on my board. All resources, as soon as you get them, you immediately have to sign to your board. Now, some of the other actions you can take, and the reason the scientists are so important, is scientists have special actions. So you can trade in one to exchange the worker you have at that point with one of the ones you've already used. You could trade in two to take an extra turn, or you could trade in three and immediately capture a building. Now you do those actions for the last two that I said, so take the extra turn or capture a building after you've placed your piece. Whenever a building is captured, Secret Service will go up. Uh, so each location, different resource, are copper panels like I was just talking about. Your firepower will increase. You can unlock another scientist. I should say you can acquire another scientist. You can get a Da Vinci Codex piece, or you can get a bolt. And that's how simple this game is. Once a, uh, it's captured, uh, once a quest is captured, you'll replace it accordingly, and you work your way through the game that way. Now there's two end game conditions. The two end game conditions are you complete your machine, or this reaches 12. If either of those conditions are met, all other players will get one last turn and then the game is over. That way everyone gets the exact same number of turns. Um, end game scoring for this game is very simple. Any, any spots on your board that are worth mayhem points, you get to add. Each building that you captured is worth two. Each Da Vinci Codex piece is worth either one or two, like I showed you, based off of how you capture it. Each Mayhem token you've captured over the course of the game is worth two points. All quests that you've captured, so as you can see here, if you complete a quest, which it's very simple to do, you get two points. And that's it. It is that simple. Uh, tiebreaker is whoever's completed the most of their... Uh, war Machine. That was Victorian Mastermind, a two to four player quasi worker replacement game by Cool Mini or Not. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. You can follow us on all major social media platforms, that's in the description box down below. Follow our blogs at threekingdomsgames.com. I'll see you next time.